Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about limestone landscapes. Limestone is a sedimentary rock. It may be formed when calcium carbonate found naturally in seawater is biologically extracted and then redeposited on the seafloor by marine organisms such as shellfish and corals. It may also be formed when seawater is heated, which results in the calcium carbonate being chemically precipitated out as very fine grains called oolites. In the Caribbean, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, and Cuba all have Jurassic coralline limestone formed between 120 to 150 million years ago. Oolitic limestone are also found on the Bahamas platform as well as the Turks and the Caicos Islands. Most of Barbados is also covered with a layer of coral limestone 30 to 100 meters thick. However, in the Scotland district of eastern Barbados, the coral cap has largely been removed by erosion. Though many rocks may contain calcium carbonate, they are only classified as limestone when they have 50% or more of the mineral. All other minerals found in the limestone are called impurities. Like other sedimentary rocks, Limestone has a layered structure which represents the different periods of deposition. The horizontal line of weakness separating these layers are called bedding planes. Besides bedding planes, there are also vertical lines of weaknesses called joints. In addition to joints and bedding planes, many limestone rocks also contain faults, which are similar to joints, except that the rocks are displaced along these fractures. The joints, faults, and bedding planes, as well as pore spaces, help to make the limestone a permeable rock. This means that water is able to pass through the limestone. Carbonation, which is the main process which affects limestone, is largely based on the chemical vulnerability of calcium carbonate to carbonic acid. Carbonic acid forms naturally when rain reacts with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as well as in the soil. When the carbonic acid reaches the limestone, the calcium carbonate is converted to calcium bicarbonate, which is soluble even in pure water. The calcium bicarbonate will then be dissolved by solution. The areas of weaknesses provide easy routes for the water to travel and are therefore the main areas where carbonation is concentrated. One of the main characteristics of limestone landscapes is the general absence of surface drainage. Typically, rivers may form on adjacent rocks and continue their flow when they reach limestone. As the river 
flows over the limestone, river valleys will develop. However, over time, as the joints of limestone rocks are widened by solution, swallow holes may develop. These swallow holes provide channels for the river to flow below the surface. The valley then become void of a permanent river flow and is therefore called a dry valley. Water percolates through the limestone mainly along the joints. However, when it reaches an impermeable layer, percolation stops and water begins to rise. This forms a zone where the water, sorry, where the ground is saturated with water. The upper limit of the zone of saturation is known as the water table. The dominant flow now becomes a sideway flow called base flow. Over time, base flow will dissolve the limestone, mainly along the bedding plane, to create large holes called caves. The river which flows beneath the surface is called a subterranean stream. Now, after a limestone cave is formed, other features may be formed in the cave. Features which form as a result of calcium carbonate being redeposited are known as speleothems. As the limestone solution percolates through the ground, it will begin to drip from the roof of the cave. The water evaporates, leaving small deposits of calcium carbonate behind in the form of calcite. Calcite is a crystalline form of calcium carbonate. Over time, a stalactite will form on the ceiling of the cave. Stalactites are sharp, slender, downward growing pinnacles with an icicle shaped appearance. Water may also drip to the floor of the cave and deposit calcite as the water evaporates. This feature known as a stalagmite grows upwards. Stalagmites are shorter, fatter, and more rounded features with a stumpy appearance. The speed at which the water drips help to determine whether stalactite or stalagmites will form. Stalactites usually form when the water drips slowly, while stalagmites usually form when the water drips rapidly. In time, as the stalactite grows downwards and the stalagmite grows upwards, they may meet to form a column of calcite called a pillar. Sometimes the roof of a series of interconnected caves may collapse to form a deep and narrow valley known as a gorge. This usually exposes the subterranean stream at the surface.
the subterranean stream may also be exposed at the surface when it re-emerges as a resurgence stream. Now, let us look at some of the features formed at the surface of limestone areas. One group of landforms are limestone depressions. Depressions vary in size from the smallest sinkholes and swallow holes to the largest pulgates. As it rains over limestone surfaces, water will take the easiest route to infiltrate and then percolate into the ground. This is usually along the joints. In the process, the joints are widened to form depressions. Sinkholes are small funnel-shaped depressions, often formed when joints are widened by solution. They may also form by the collapse of the roofs of caves, which are close to the surface. If rivers disappear through these holes, then they are known as swallow holes. A dough line is usually larger than a sinkhole, often from 10 meters to one kilometer. Dough lines may be formed in different ways. Solution dough lines form when sinkholes, which are close to each other, enlarge and merge together as a result of solution. A collapsed dough line forms when the roof of caves close to the surface collapses, collapse rather. Several dough lines may merge to form a larger depression known as a uvala. Some of these uvalas are kilometers across. Now, the largest limestone depression is known as pulgy. A pulge is a wide, flat-floored valley formed in limestone. They may be formed from the widening and joining of other depressions, such as uvalas. They sometimes result from the tectonic movement where a block of land has been faulted downwards. Remember, we said that Faults may also be associated with limestone rocks. After the pulge is formed, rivers may flow into it, depositing alluvium and creating a flat surface. Examples of pulges in Jamaica are Luida's Vale. Queen of Spain Valley, as well as the Monique Basin. Blue holes are underwater karst caves, which when found in shallow water have striking features because of the strong color contrast between the dark blue cave opening and the light blue surrounding sea floor. 
An example is a blue hole in the lighthouse reef in Belize. Another surface feature found in limestone areas is limestone pavement. A limestone pavement is a flat expanse of exposed limestone formed by a combination of chemical weathering and erosion. They are largely found in temperate regions where the vegetation and soil has been removed by glacial erosion, but they are also found in tropical regions. An example of limestone pavement in the Caribbean are the exposed coastal areas of Barbados. The rainwater gradually widens the joints of the limestone by dissolving the minerals. This creates fissures called grites. The blocks of rocks between the fissures are called clints. Now, two major landscapes are associated with tropical karst. These are cockpit karst and tower karst. Cockpit karst is a landscape pitted with soil covered depressions and smooth sided cone like hills. Tower karst is a landscape characterized by upstanding rounded blocks set in a region of low relief. To the south of Falmouth Trelawney in Jamaica is a large area of cockpit karst. This area is known as the cockpit country. The geology of the area comprises pure white limestone. These limestones are more strongly jointed and more easily dissolved. The joints form a crisscross pattern. Accelerated weathering occurs along the joints and especially at the intersection. At such points, closed depressions are created. The areas further away from the joints and intersections will weather more slowly to form hills. As long as the base of the depressions are above the water table, Vertical weathering will continue. However, over time, the landscape is actually lowered overall. The hills get lower and the depressions get deeper. Eventually, the bottom of the depressions reach the water table. This slows down the rate of vertical erosion. Erosion now becomes concentrated on the sides of the intervening hills. This creates a flat surface at the level of the water table with steep isolated hills. If the landscape is rugged enough, it is known as power cast. Examples can be found in Western Puerto Rico as well as Western Cuba. Now, exam questions for this topic 
are usually based on the characteristics of limestone, the processes which create the limestone landforms, as well as the characteristics and the formation of the limestone landforms. Let us now examine a few of these past paper questions. The first question is about the process occurring on limestone um, landscapes. It says, explain how the main form of weathering occurs in karst landscapes. And this question is worth four marks. I think that for pointing out carbonation as the main process, you should be able to get a mark which means that you need to try to earn three more marks. The main thing you need to point out is that water combined with carbon dioxide creates carbonic acid, which then reacts with the calcium carbonate in the limestone to form calcium bicarbonate. And the calcium bicarbonate can then be dissolved by water. All right, and as long as you make that clear, you will be able to get your four marks. The next question is also about process, but it is also testing your knowledge of limestone characteristics. The question says, explain how rock structure and chemical composition influence the weathering of limestone. And this is worth six marks. You should be able to get three marks for each characteristic that you describe or rather explain. So remember that limestone is composed of 50% or more calcium carbonate. And the purer the limestone, the greater is the rate of carbonation because calcium carbonate is vulnerable to carbonic acid, right? In terms of the rock structure, the limestone has joints and bedding planes which allow water to enter. And this increases the surface area exposed to carbonation and therefore will increase the rate of carbonation. Uh, this third question is simply um, asking you to identify some features. Of course, as you look at it, you would recognize that this is a diagram of the limestone pavement. So of course, A is a clint, B is a grike, and C is of course showing a joint. Number four gives us the option of selecting any underground feature to talk about. The question says, explain how one underground feature is formed in limestone areas of the Caribbean, and it is worth six marks. I would advise you to talk about the feature that you know most about. So, for example, you could talk about the formation of caves or you could talk about the formation of features such as stalactite and stalagmites within the cave. Let's say that you decide to talk about the pillar, for example. You would explain that the feature forms when the process of carbonation is reversed and the limestone is uh, 
or rather calcite is deposited on the ceiling of the cave as well as the floor of the cave when water evaporates. You would then explain that as the stalactite grows down and the stalagmites grow up, then they may meet to form the pillar. All right. And for a question like this, you could also uh, add a diagram to show the features. Uh, number five says, explain how one surface feature is formed in limestone areas of the Caribbean. And so this is similar to the previous one, but now you are expected to talk about surface feature. So you could talk about any of the depressions, you could talk about the formation of gorges, you could talk about the limestone pavement, you could talk about tower karst, or cockpit karst, any of those surface features you could talk about. Remember, you are only asked to talk about one. So let's say that you decided to talk about um, the, the dough lines. You could explain that the dough lines can be formed in different ways. And so you could explain that the solution dough lines form as a result of the limestone being dissolved and especially where there are neighboring uh, sinkholes that are being widened by solution, they can eventually merge to form a larger depression, which is a dough line. And, and, and of course, you should be able to get three marks for that. And then you could explain afterwards that the collapse dough line is formed when there are caves close to the surface and the roof of the cave collapses to form the dough line. All right. And then you should be able to get the other three marks for that. Again, if you wish, you could draw diagrams to illustrate what you are talking about. All right, uh, this final question is focused specifically on cockpit karst. So the first part of the question says name one area in the Caribbean where cockpit karst is found. And of course, a good example is the cockpit country in um, Trelawney, Jamaica. Uh, part two says explain how cockpit karst landscape developed in the area you named above. All right. Um, and of course, we talked about the fact that in these areas or in this area, uh, the limestone is pure white limestone that is well jointed and that the joints crisscross each other. And so along the joints and especially at the intersections, uh, carbonation and solution are concentrated uh, to create depressions and the areas away from the joints remain as hills and that overall an egg tree pattern is created. All right. Um, if you explain this well, you should be able to get your eight marks. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. If you have not subscribed as yet, go ahead and subscribe. Share this video with a friend and of course, like this video.